They call it a civilian tank. The name might sound unusual, yet it's something we all see and sit on every single day. The bus. That title is no coincidence. With a welded steel frame, thick reinforced panels, and a weight of more than 12 tons, a bus shares much of the same structural DNA as a tank. The only difference is purpose. Not for battlefields, but for carrying millions of passengers through their daily journeys. Behind its rigid exterior lies a chain of sophisticated processes, laser cutting massive steel sheets, assembling the frame, integrating software, and testing on harsh terrains. In this film, we'll step inside the production line, where cold blocks of steel are transformed into machines capable of carrying hundreds of people across city streets, built to be durable, stable, and reliable enough to earn the nickname, the Street Warhorse. Across the globe, more than 3 million buses are in operation every single day, from school routes in the United States, to inner-city coaches across Europe, to minibuses weaving through the narrow streets of Mexico's old towns. Far beyond being just a means of transport, buses form the lifeblood of public transit systems worldwide. With relentless schedules and constant demand, they have become one of the most widely manufactured vehicles on the planet, rolling out of factories in China, Germany and Brazil to serve every continent. What makes buses even more fascinating is the cultural identity they carry. In Guatemala, the brightly decorated chicken buses blaze with color and artwork, while in London, the iconic red route masters stand as retro symbols of the city itself. Each region tells its own story through the bodywork, paint, and design of its buses, transforming them from simple vehicles into vivid cultural icons of the communities they serve. In the world of modern buses, the journey doesn't begin with the engine. It begins with flat sheets of steel, the raw material that will form the skeleton of the entire vehicle. In the processing area, steel plates are retrieved from an automated storage system, where towering racks can deliver the material to the machines in less than 30 seconds. The sheets are then fed into a CNC-controlled 3D laser cutting line. With a power of several kilowatts, the laser pierces through the metal, producing panels with a precision of less than 0.1 millimeter, even along curved lines. Cutting with light may sound like science fiction, yet it has become the industrial standard of today. How many of these panels do you think are needed to assemble a single bus? After the cutting stage, the material moves on to the forming station. Here, hydraulic presses exert hundreds of tons of force to shape parts such as sidewalls, roof sections, and structural ribs. Some components are bent by CNC folding machines, but skilled technicians are still required to operate and inspect them directly. It is this collaboration between advanced machinery and human expertise that creates a stable frame, the foundation upon which the entire bus will be built. The bus frame is the backbone of the entire vehicle, a massive steel structure weighing more than 1.5 tons, built to support the full weight of both the bus and its passengers. To create this foundation, dozens of rectangular steel beams are placed into fixed jigs, aligned with millimeter precision before being welded into a single unified body. Modern factories employ MIG or EMAG welding, prized for their speed and deep penetration. Most of the welds are performed by skilled craftsmen, assisted by hydraulic fixtures and robotic arms that keep pressure consistent, reduce error, and accelerate the process. Each weld is formed at temperatures approaching 3,000 degrees Celsius, melting the steel at the contact point and fusing it tightly as it cools. The bright sparks are not just a striking visual effect, they signal the steady flow of welding current at work. Once the base frame is complete, Cranes lift the roof and side panels into place. Guided by a system of color codes and positioning sensors, every section is fitted exactly where it belongs. The rigidity of the frame comes not only from the strength of its material, but from the seamless continuity of its welds. This is the foundation that allows a bus to operate safely and reliably across hundreds of thousands of miles. The freshly welded bus frame cannot go straight into assembly. At this stage, the entire structure is still bare metal, its welds exposed, its steel surface unprotected. 
To withstand years of harsh environments, the frame must first be treated and shielded against corrosion. The process begins with a high-pressure wash, where hot water mixed with specialized degreasing agents strips away welding dust, grease, and microscopic impurities. From there, the frame is mounted onto a carrier and moved step-by-step step through a series of treatment baths by an automated crane system. Each tank is carefully maintained at a constant temperature with its own purpose in chemistry. An acid bath to remove rust, an alkaline bath to neutralize, a rinse of purified water, and finally, a conversion coating bath. Inside this final stage, the steel surface reacts with a solution rich in zinc or manganese ions, forming a thin crystalline layer that bonds directly to the base metal. This layer acts as the first line of defense, while also creating the adhesion needed for future protective coatings. Once the frame leaves the last bath, it passes through a checkpoint where sensors measure its surface conductivity. If the readings fall outside tolerance, the system automatically removes the frame from the line. Silent, unseen, yet essential. This protective layer ensures the bus will resist corrosion from deep within its very structure. If the frame is the skeleton, then the paint is the skin. The very first thing that makes someone either notice or ignore a bus in just a passing glance. This stage is far more than simply adding color. It is a precise blend of engineering and aesthetics, where each factory reveals its own identity and standards. In some European plants, automated spray robots, programmed with arms as fluid as industrial artists, glide across every contour of the body, applying the first uniform coat. This primer protects the surface and enhances adhesion for the layers to follow. Next come the color coats, sometimes up to three layers depending on the design or customer requirements. For orders from the United States in particular, shades are often demanded with accuracy down to the exact Pantone code. Every step of painting takes place inside sealed booths with dust extraction, climate control, and strict humidity regulation to prevent particles or streaks. While machines handle the majority of the workload, workers are still deployed to cover challenging areas, curved edges or frame junctions, ensuring complete coverage. Under the lights, the paint reflects differently with every angle, creating a vivid visual effect. A protective armor that is also alluring, designed to guard the bus for decades as it roams the streets. The central dashboard is installed first, shaping the driver's area and guiding the layout of the electrical system. This panel integrates the speedometer, status display, functional switches, and wiring that connects to the steering wheel, pedals, and control software. The steering wheel is mounted onto the steering column through a coupling pre-calibrated for torque. Installing it early allows technicians to test electrical junctions accurately before other components are layered on top. The electrical system is then routed throughout the bus according to pre-designed schematics, stretching from the driver's cabin to the headlights, fuse box, air conditioning, and onboard cameras. Robots assist in bundling cables, securing connectors, and fastening clips, but every connection must still be inspected manually. This stage is critical for ensuring stability once the bus is in operation, from lights, horn, and warning systems to Wi-Fi. Control software is loaded in test mode to verify signals, where even a minor phase mismatch could trigger cascading errors. That is why near-perfect precision is always the top priority. If the dashboard is the command center, then the engine block and drivetrain are the muscular heart, where controlled data is transformed into real motion. Before assembly, Every engine block undergoes a complex process demanding the highest levels of mechanical precision. Cast aluminum blocks are machined by CNC equipment to form engine housings accurate down to the finest groove. Pistons, camshafts, and valve systems are assembled by hand or semi-automated stations, with tolerances so tight they are nearly invisible to the human eye. With the engine ready, the integration of the drivetrain and chassis marks the moment the frame evolves into a true operating machine. Automated robotic arms lift the engine, hundreds of kilograms in weight, into its exact position, aligned with laser and sensor guidance, 
so that not a single component strays from specification. The drive shaft, transmission, axles, and suspension are then connected seamlessly, as if giving the vehicle its backbone, the structure that ensures strength, stability, and driving feel. In many U.S. plants, this stage is further enhanced with AI systems that detect deviations in real time, raising reliability and optimizing performance to levels approaching perfection. The engine is ready to propel the vehicle forward, but inside it remains an empty shell. At this stage, the interior installation begins, bringing soul and purpose to the entire machine. Rows of seats, armrests, curtains, ceiling lights, and decorative panels are carried into the cabin through the front and middle doors, following a precise sequence of technical steps. Each seat is carefully aligned on sliding rails and positioned with floor-mounted guides to ensure uniform spacing and the correct angle. In some factories, roller systems are used to push an entire row of seats inside within seconds, reducing the need for manual handling. Inside the bus, teams of technicians work in harmony, each responsible for a specific task, operating together like synchronized links in a chain. Seats are bolted firmly to the floor, which has already been fitted with electrical wiring and air ducts. Smaller details, grab handles, storage compartments, or reading lights, are inspected for secure fit and durability. In such a confined space where everything must align with near-perfect accuracy, even a minor misstep can mean the entire interior has to be reinstalled from the beginning. With internal systems complete, technicians move on to the final stage, turning the bare frame into a fully functional vehicle. Vacuum robots mount the large curved windshield with precision down to fractions of a millimeter. Doors are positioned with cranes and fixed by hand, hinges aligned before being locked in place. At another station, wheels are fitted automatically with computer-controlled torque tools, each bolt tightened under strict monitoring. Some factories even use force sensors to prevent over-tightening. Every step reflects the synergy of human skill, advanced machinery, and industrial precision. To verify its true performance in the real world, the bus is taken to a multi-terrain test track located within the factory grounds. Inclined ramps, raised bumps, slippery surfaces, and flooded passages each put the vehicle to the test examining its balance, vibration resistance, traction control, and the watertight integrity of its body. Every scenario simulates the harsh conditions the bus may encounter in actual operation, from high-speed highways to rugged rural roads. This stage is not only the final confirmation of quality, but also an opportunity for engineers to scrutinize every technical detail once more, ensuring the vehicle is fully prepared to carry passengers in the real world. Before a bus can be declared complete, it must undergo an inspection as meticulous as threading a needle. Electronic eyes scan every surface, while human hands adjust each gap, joint, and button response. Even the slightest irregularity, whether a faint noise when closing a door or the brightness of a headlamp, is recorded and corrected on the spot. This is the final fine-tuning, the last moment of scrutiny before the vehicle earns its title. Ready for the road. From the moment of its final completion, the journey of the bus has only just begun. Each vehicle is wrapped in a protective film and lifted into containers by automated hoists or hydraulic cranes. From there, they are transported to transshipment ports, divided into shipments bound for destinations across the continents. The endpoint may be a showroom in the United States, a dealership in Europe, or a delivery hub in Asia, all mapped out in a logistics network pre-programmed long before a machine on the move, and with it, an entire global network set into motion. In modern cities, buses are vital not only for moving people, but also for reducing environmental impact. A single bus can replace dozens of cars, easing traffic, cutting fuel use, and lowering emissions of CO2, nitrogen oxides, and particulates that pollute urban air. Today's fleets increasingly use hybrids, natural gas, or fully electric drivetrains that produce little to no emissions. 
Each electric bus can save thousands of liters of diesel every year, preventing tons of greenhouse gases from entering the atmosphere. More than numbers, buses embody a collective choice, favoring shared mobility over individual reliance. As climate change and smog intensify, the bus stands out as a practical, scalable solution for cleaner, healthier communities. From bare steel frames to a fully realized machine rolling out into the world, the making of a bus is not only a story of engineering, but also a symbol of perfect coordination between human skill, advanced technology, and industrial vision. If this journey has impressed you, leave a comment below to share your thoughts. Hit the like button to support our production team, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next extraordinary journeys of technology waiting to be discovered.